Oh, you want it? Russian works in English, but we do not have an Italian. They were frozen in the wall. So whatever they were doing, they died and they didn't remain in the position of life. It, it's very dramatic when you look at the baby's here. Look at his femoral bone. The very last one, I called the servant, his late grandpa. I think it was his late. Maybe he's taking the vein to plant it with everything inside. And so when they made a plaster cast, they made a surgery in order to get it out. That's why now the new technique when they say sin, injecting silicone instead of plaster. So we can see through. It's much easier to open to start to get the object and that they will bring it along with them. Yeah. 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 We can use a good precedent. I mean, it's very rude without yeah. Yeah. That's what the second one. This question actually has no a real but I'm not sure answer. It's a whole because in the year 62 the earthquake. Oh, so we oh, don't know exactly don't how many people. No. Okay. Then, no, no, I, what I, I, we do I, I, mean, how does Bambini, what we mean nowadays for how many people in this town? Everybody. But how many people in an ancient town meant how many free people? Never how many slaves you have. Because you your slaves are part of here. your archive, not the public archive. Yeah, me, yeah. So you might have like 100 slaves, and I will never report that we have one person plus 100 slaves. to break at least to slow down especially at the end it's very steep getting with a fault holding the two wheels closer to my sidewalk thank you to what you did illegally we know how big the wheels were how let's go down here uh notice that somebody for protecting the private sidewalk put curb stones on the side so if you only try to get closer to that sidewalk, you destroy your car, your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very nice how, actually, you know, archaeology in Pompeii is like a Japanese book. You know, Japanese book means, you know, that for us, what is uh, the beginning of a Japanese book would be the end. And we start from the end. So we find something, we try to read, we try to recompose the broken sentences. And we found something about the carriages and the speed of the cars down here. 
for quoting the speed of a car, that was the odometro. Odometro. Odometer. Mamma mia. How the odometro was working? Well, you built, you the engineer, you built a wooden box with a tiny little hole. The diameter of correspond to pebbles. All the same ones. So every time the wheel makes an entire turn, a tiny little tongue, metal tongue, will be opening a door and one pebble will fall down in the lower box. So at night, counting all the pebbles, we know how many yards, how many miles you are driven. We're ready to the answer. See how the rats are getting closer to the sidewalk. Good. So on quoting the size of the wheel, you also need to quote how deep the rat is. Yeah. We are crazy. Archaeologists, historians, we're all crazy. <laughs> uh, some of us, let's say, in particular, a polybotanical archaeologist, she committed a suicide because she was working too much. She was trying to find out all of the answers and the orchard and the plants and the roots and what kind of vegetation. At this point, the brain is done. Mrs. Ciarallo, But her brain did stop. It's also nice actually to lead the town to a city gate because we'll be able to see the stone sign, which means the stone captures marks on the stones. There it is. That's the history written on the wall. <laughs> you think I'm crazy. You don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, first of all, those holes, they were for ropes outside shops. So awning, poles, ropes. Uh, overflow vault, like the ones we have seen in Herculaneum, when uh, the tank, the pool in the middle part of the house was filled all the way to the top, we got the big rain, the one way overflow vault was getting the rainwater to get on the road. I was looking at this point, look, here. That's at the beginning of the note for us. This mark, look. This is the pole of a cart getting closer to slow down. Look. See? I'm breaking in a few words. So quoting from that point, I need to dig deeper like this. To this point, you double, you get this wheel. You could actually decide and you know how many yards after counting the pebbles you have driven. Clear. So, from a mark, we rebuilt. Um, there's a wonderful book, I hope you can find it. Written actually many years ago, a century ago. Mac Kendrick is the historian, archeologist. He did work here in Pestum, in Ercolano. The title of the book is the best of the best they could give an historical, archeological actually book. The Mute Stones Speak. You look at the stone and you are listening what the stone is whispering. That's the way. Kindly pay attention. Stay on the right. Yeah. Even well, steep actually hills going down might be dangerous. See the mark continuous, look. How many carts were lowing down on the other side? That's another proof that they were driving the other side. At this point, there was no other way but, you know, just pouring them in your rats, which are like trucks at this point. As usually the space left under the door, the city gates, see the door would be resting and closing here at this level. So this is space is for the rainwater to leave the town. Those are the stone cutters marks. So we know the teams which cut those stones. 
staggering way, Lego block buildings, no mortar. If you see any mortar, it's a modern restoration. We're about to leave the town. First ring, second ring. That's the second ring. Third ring. In between spaces, the rooms filled with dirt. So when you are using the catapults, the missiles are reaching the wall. The wall is very strong because it's like a spring behind. And the catapults missiles are all found outside the city. Tombs from this point on. We are outside the city. Eventually, we are in a necropoly. There are old family tombs. The stone down there is to tell people that eventually the emperor reconfiscated the land that illegally you built with the house. So from today on, you're not allowed to do this anymore. I'm here. At the tombs, we have a poor traits. Don't try even to think about frescoes depicting people, but thus portraits, like statues. Those are the portraits in ancient times. Don't actually use your imagination to see the big, long niches, because mainly there is a cremation. So the niches are tiny, and each one will be having a hole in the middle to place the cylinder. Where those three actually guys are sitting is a tomb. It's a special tomb thanking them for sitting there. And I'll tell you why. Because the schools were not existing. The master, the magister, was uh, speaking all of the kids in the morning, only the boys, and going outside the city when they are trying to say, okay, have a seat in this tomb. The seat's actually over there. This kind of tomb is called Goma. This is from the shape is called Scola. From the shape of this kind of tomb, we'll be having Scola. School. A scuola. Clear? Because they were using this uh, tomb for the kids to sit, in a few words. To have, uh, that's why we say, a school of fish. <laughs> A group of, we say a school of. That's a discernment that doesn't say anything from here. But if you read the other side, you might read some of the words that you recognize. Emperor Caesar, Vespasiano, Vespasian, Augusto, Locatibus, you see? Restituate, gave back to the city the public soil. So Vespa, this is the time of Vespasiano, Vespasian which is one of the Flavian emperors, Tito, Domiziano, Vespasiano, Vespasian. We walk the way. Now we are at the level, the real street level. We are standing up there. How many tombs are even, they say, under those modern buildings? Because they cropolized, we're allowed to be built only outside the cities. It was not easy, it was not easy actually to say, oh, that's my tomb, that's my father's tomb, that's my sister's tomb, I want to be buried there. No, if my father didn't stay on the tomb, this was good for me, for my people, no way to be buried there. So it's a typical sentence that you find even on the modern Italian tomb, per se e per i suoi, for himself and for his people. glittering in the sun. The kind of tomb is different from Tombascola. It's like a tambour, like a drum. Uh, come to see the culine, please. 
Well, culina has a different meaning in Italian. But culina meant kitchen. So when my properties, I do repeat, when my properties, when you were asking me about actually the number of people, right? When my properties, my slaves, passed away, they belong to me. So I need to give actually a burial place. I put the remains after burning them, it's not a real cremation, into a worn out kitchen work from the kitchen and I put a sign at the top, there they are. As you know, there is no face, only the back of the head. And they're called culine. It could be just a piece of stone marking a tomb of a slave. So the culine, the slaves are nearby my property, but outside. Culine because it's kitchen, from the kitchen. And this one you can take the photo of the mother's mouth, which sounds like uh, the English genitive, the act that you took. How those is a the genitive, we call it Saxon genitive, but actually comes from Latin. All this family built for C.B. himself, C.B. and Suis, his people. At this point, the family, the rest of the family could be buried inside. Without this, no way. <laughs> Which means I don't want, because something happened. I don't want him to be buried with me. Uh, those are the niches, those are the, oh, the niches, they got a name too. Piccionaie, Colombari. Colombo is the Italian for pigeon. Looking like a Colombo house, pigeon house tomb. Colombari, let's see, another Colombari. The VIPs, they had the facades decorated in a wonderful way with fake gardens. <laughs> see, even uh, the point they need to take, I'm rich. Uh -huh. The CB at that one is a stating not only myself but also the people belonging to the Volella. They can see the name, he put the name of the person that he wants to be buried with him. It's not all the family, no. It says CB, the second line at the end, CB, which means himself at and the name. The big difference is between this kind of stem, that's a pyroclastic, and this. This one will, won't pull anybody. It would be floating on the water. This one instead is lava. It's heavy. See the, the garden, the bamboo trellis, the fountain, the birds. Uh, look from there, otherwise you don't see. One, two birds. What is left? The fountain, the bamboo trellis, the garden. It continues on this side. And that's the stratified areas. <laughs> the lapilli snows, <laughs> the volcanic mud. <laughs> and remember that this is the lowest area because that's the southern part. So the highest part will the highest part of the volcanic mountain will be north. We're almost at the end. Eh? We cannot say that those are stairs. We are almost outside. 
Well, thank you for uh, walking with me. Now I need to call the driver because I don't want to go to the parking area. It's half a mile far from here. Oh, yeah. I keep on breaking the rules. <laughs> uh, I want the driver to come where he left us. Any question before we leave? It's right up here. Okay. Uh, before you yeah, go off the left, don't leave, don't leave, but on the left, okay? Okay, okay let's do this. May I have your attention? It would be easier. It's about actually 1 p.m. 20 past. I'll make a system that we've seen yeah. that these people be hanging out with. Yeah, it might not have been just a preference. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to be fair enough. We were trying to get a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, that's good. Thank you. Thank you.